Welcome back to the channel of us talking with Jonathan. Anyway, I can we'll probably talk about the title of the video. We're doing a movie review for Superman, Batman, Public Enemies. So anyway, um, I just literally got done um, watching this movie. It was um, actually a pretty good movie. I mean, I can't say it's like the best Superman movie, but I can't also say it's the worst Superman movie that I've ever seen. With that out of mind, um, there is some key points in the Superman Batman Public Enemies. Like, when I first went into it, I thought, well, similar to uh, Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, I thought Batman and Superman would be uh, pretty much enemies throughout the entire movie. That is actually not the case in the Superman Batman Public Enemies um, film. It's it's actually a reverse opposite of the uh, Batman v Superman storyline that we got a couple of years ago with um, Blue Ray, which I do have right here. So there's gonna come some key points that are similar to um, this. Per movie is absolutely pretty good and. Uh, I'll give my ranking at the end, my like my, my final thoughts at the end of this video. So if you want to stay tuned for that, um, be after the end. So anyway, let's talk about some of the positives. I mean, let's go ahead and talk about some of the negatives of the Batman B. I mean, the pub, the Superman Batman, uh, Public Enemies film. So anyway, one of my biggest issues with the Batman Superman Public Enemy is storyline. The storyline was great. I can't really say there's have, have an, any issue with the storyline for the uh, Superman, Batman, Public Enemies kind of thing. But the thing is on how they on how these side characters are represented in the movie. Uh, some of these side characters, I felt like they could just actually end up being left out of the movie, and it would not make any like one of the biggest side characters that they. Randomly put in the enemy because one emirate like they randomly put in this movie because he's just like there and it's uh, Alfred, which is um, Super uh, Batman's um, thing. Like they really did not have to have him in the movie at all. But like, they could have like pretty much took that entire scene that Alfred in the movie completely out, and I think it'll make the movie just a tad bit better. Now let's talk about my other negative that I have with. The Superman Batman Public Enemies. The title. The title of the enemy the title of this movie does not make half of any sense. Like if you compare it to like other titles that have Superman in the name, like Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, we know what the movie is about based on the title. We know that we're gonna have a big fight battle, which didn't really happen all that much in the movie, but that's besides more. Um, but some Weird turns with the Batman, with the Superman Batman Public Enemies movie is Let's Luger being the president of the United States. Yes. Let's Luther, the enemy of Superman, somehow became president of the United States. That just does not make half of any sense that we've seen this movie. Um, like, it has some key terms that made sense. There are some key terms that did not make any sense in the Superman, Batman, Public Enemies film. Just, did we really need to get Les Luthor elected for uh, President of the United States? I don't think so. And by the way, why does... And like, one of the biggest problems I have with this movie is why did all of a sudden that the entire United States turn on Superman in a dime just because of a special video that Les Luger, Les, Les Luther put together. And like, with this, like, if this movie takes place in modern era, it could have, that, that, that video could have been easily edited, like, which it was actually in the film. If you actually go back and rewatch that particular scene, it does make sense. Why, I just don't see it on how they became enemies in the first place. Like, we know about Les Luthor, we know about Superman. Just having Batman in the picture does make more sense. But these other side characters, like, um, oh man, 
That's how much I actually forgot what all the side characters were. There you can't, it doesn't even tell you all the side characters are in the movie in the back of the description. It's like, there's like, Hawkman. Like, do they really need to have Hawkman in the movie? I don't think so. I think that's another character that they could actually let out of the entire plotline of the Batman Superman. I mean, the Superman Batman public enemies film. Besides that, there really isn't anything negative I can say about the Superman Batman public enemies film. Besides, I do wish they would have. Okay, the, the biggest issue I have with the title is because I don't want to keep calling it Batman Superman public enemies, not Superman Batman public enemies. That the title of the the title of the film does not make half of any sense on why they chose to put Superman first. Yeah, we pretty much know it's a Superman film, but like the Batman v Superman, the Justice movie, we pretty much know it's a Superman movie. But they don't put Superman on for the title. They put Batman. They put Batman vs. Superman, Donna Justice. And like on the cover of the Batman v Superman, which I'm pretty much getting off topic again. Um. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the positives of these Superman Batman public enemies. The action. This movie has tons of action, tons of adventures, and tons of like everything you would like to see in a superhero film. It's in this superhero movie. Uh, do we get to see Superman Batman fight? No. That's because it's not. That's what that was about, but it's not. Uh, I thought it was the same thing on like Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, Ultimate Edition, but just in an animated version. Because the title of the movie. Don't always trust the title of the movie. Um, but, like, if you seen this, this cover art, I literally thought it was Superman Batman. Like, this. This was more, this cover could easily work for this movie. While this cover... Take out Wonder Woman, could easily work for this movie. So, it makes more sense on why I thought there were enemies in this movie. But, it actually turned out they are actually the enemies of the United States. Because of Lex Luthor. But, yeah. Um, some of the more positives is, um, even though this is actually a um, Superman movie, there really isn't much of Clark Kent. The alternate ego of Superman. And that's the same thing with Batman. Like, like we see Batman throughout the entire movie, but we really don't really see much of Bruce Banner throughout the film. So, I, like, this is pretty much a Superman Batman movie all throughout the movie without seeing uh, Clark Kent or Bruce Wayne in the movie. We just see Batman and we also just see Superman. Why am I playing Superman turn blue? I don't know. I don't know why I kind of did that, but anyway, that's just point. I'm going off topic again. So, anyway, do I really suggest this movie? Yes. Um, is it, like, one of the best Superman movies? No. Is it one of the... Is it one of the worst Superman movies? No. Is it one of the... If, if I had to choose if this one, like, the better Superman movies I'd put in my top five of the best Superman movies I've ever seen, I would say it's in my top ten for sure. Now... Out of my top 10 favorite animated Superman movies, I can't really say because I've not seen that many uh, animated Superman movies. And that, taking a look at my collection, I think I literally only have three animated Superman movies. If I'm not mistaken, in my collection, um, Spider Man, I got tons of spiders, so I believe literally that is my entire Superman collection is animated. I only have three now. And I all those just recently. And where did the other one go? Well, anyway, I had three Superman movies. I don't really have them. Oh, third one. And one on my camera, too. Here's another Superman movie I have. It's called a Superman Brain Dark Attack. If you guys want me to see the. If you guys want me to see the. If you guys like. If you guys would like me to review this movie. Let me know in the comment section. The comment section down below. Go ahead and put this thumbs up too if you want to see this review of this movie too. It's really good. Um, but so anyway, my final thoughts on the movie. Do I suggest seeing it? If you're a Superman fan, yes. If you're a Batman fan, yes. If you're a Alfred fan, no. 
If you're a Hawkman fan, Hawkeye, Hawkman, Hawkmania fan, no. Um, Zumiak, yes. Lance Luthor, yes. Gorilla Zod, no. No, just, actually, you know what, let's just talk about Gorilla Zod for a minute. He was literally in the movie for like a split second, and that was getting all the superheroes together under mind control. Think about that. Mind control to actually capture Superman. Capture Superman. Like, like seriously, there's like no way so, so you can capture Superman. He's like one of the biggest icons in the entire DC universe right now. With the entire DC SD universe going on, he's like one of the biggest superheroes in the DC universe. Considering that, uh, where is that? Man of Steel is actually the movie that started the entire DC extended universe. If you guys want me to review that movie too, let me know in the comments, the comment section down below. So I will. So the fact two hours. And any movie you see here in this video, if you guys want to see reviews on, just let me know in the comment, in the comment section down below. Cause I'll be sure to do a review on any of these movies. Like Superman bringing out attacks. Um, Superman, Batman, Superman vs. Batman v Superman on Justice, any Man of Steel, I'll do a review on that one, including uh, this one, Superman, Superman, Batman, Acopolis, or something like that, I can't really know what they tell the video right now. And sorry about that. So, anyway... Do I suggest this movie for just for just to watch it? Yes. Do I suggest it to pass the time away? Yeah. It's really good. It's a really good movie. And uh, you know what? Go ahead and post down in your if you guys seen the Superman Batman Public Enemies movie, post down in the comment section, the comment section down below on uh, what you guys think of the Superman Batman Public Enemies film. Go ahead and post down in the comment section, the comment section down below. So anyway, one of the biggest issues I have with this um, release is there's not really many special features. Uh, like it has behind the scenes of the Black Lives Night, the epic DC comic superhero event, and so yeah, explore DC, I'll explore the four other DC universe animated movies, just like a bunch of trailers and much of that. But yeah, I think that movie could benefit from more special features, which I believe might be on the. Blu-ray release. I don't know the. I don't know if that movie even got for release. I might be wrong about that. But anyway, now to the final ending of this video. The score. On a zero to ten, I'd give it an six. A six. It's and like on a percentage-wise, on a from zero from zero percent. Like being the worst film I've ever seen to being 100% to being the best film I've ever seen. I have to give this movie a 73%. And go ahead and post down in the comment section and comment section number below. I'd like to hear what you guys think. And if and there's like something I really, really want to do. I would actually want to sit down, watch my entire media collection, all my Blu-rays, all my DVDs, and rank them from the worst to best, not including TV series, like this would not be included in it, these would not be included in it, and definitely not the My Little Pony series, Danny Phantom, or um, blah blah blah, or The Flash, those ones would not be in it at all. But anything else, and stuff for AR, that won't be in it either. But anything that's a movie-wise, like, in, like, this. Yeah, it's part of a TV show, but it's the movie. Hey, Arnold, the movie. I will review this in the set. So, if you'd like to see that happen, let me know in the comment section, comment section down below, because I'd like to see that happen. And I'll be uploading a new, um, my complete Blu-ray and collection as of, uh, June of blah 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 If you guys got that, let me know in the comments, in the comment section down below, because I didn't know that. 
and make it happen any sense. And if you guys want to see my complete PS4 game collection, let me know in the comment section, the comment section down below. And I do have some better PS4 cases. This one is holding Transformers. This cheap plastic case is holding Transformers. I got all my PS4 games over there. I'm not playing my PlayStation for right now. And my controller is right here. In fact, uh, clean this up. So I'm not broadcasting it live. So anyway, guys, th thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you guys want to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I'll be doing more reviews in the hopefully upcoming near future. And even more. I would doing I, I would try to do more of these reviews kind of things. And I have would actually really want to watch that all fifty Marvel film Race from Mercy Best by seeing Chandler. I really want to see that. I I'd like to know what all Marvel films been released and I'd like to watch this ranking videos. But by the way, if you, if you guys have any suggestion on movie for reviewers on YouTube, let me know in the comments section in the comments section below. Because I do like to watch movie reviewers. Um, Scene Chandler is probably one of the best ones I've seen on YouTube, but, um, there's other ones I watch on YouTube too, I can't remember their names anymore. It's been like quite a while since I watched anything about film reviews, so, um, do not post any spoilers for any upcoming films, including Avengers and the game. Please don't. I just, Captain Marvel, please do not post any spoilers for this for any movies that came out this year. So anyway, let me know in the comments section, the comments section down below if you guys want to see more ranking videos, more review videos, and more only on the Review Gamer on the Review Gamer YouTube channel. Because I am the one and the only Review Gamer, and I'm back in action. So anyway, um, I've been doing uploading on gameplay videos, but I'm actually going to reach the end of the gameplay videos. Um, I'm actually going to re-go back into the, what I actually started the YouTube channel for, is to talk about movies. Because I talk about movies way too much. I'm a movie collector. I love to watch movies. I may not be the biggest movie collector, but I like my movies. I do. I like some of the more uncommon movies. Like, I did not really care much for Avengers Infinity War. I just didn't. I wanted to give it a re second chance. See if it's actually any better than the first time I've seen it. The first time I've seen it, I have not seen any other Marvel movies. That's right. I'm not seeing any other Marvel movies besides Avengers 1 and 2 and Spider Man and Captain America 4. So, I'm actually wanting, um, right now, I actually just got done watching Iron Man. I actually believe I posted a review on Iron Man 2. Uh, Iron Man, I'm not quite sure. Um, so at the, once uh, Avengers Endgame gets released on Blu-ray and DVD, I'm actually going to re-go back, rewatch all the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. We can actually do a couple of things. I'll um, review them all and do a ranking from worst to best, including Avengers. Once Avengers Endgame comes out, probably not including uh, Spider-Man Far From Home because it's... I mean, not yet. But anyway, I do want to see Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I have seen a little bit of it. And by end, that movie is so good. Um, I'll be doing an upload, up, update on this movie review later on this year. So this is my first opinion on it. Like, um, more normally when I do my reviews, I want to watch them a couple of times. Just, I just want to get this video up before I get anything else uploaded on my channel. Any more gameplay videos. So this is going to be probably after my gameplay video but it should be up on at the same time so hey guys please go ahead and hit this please hit this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see more of the fantastic movie reviews in the hopefully upcoming near future go ahead and hit the comment section in the comment section down below and I will write back to any of the first comments within the first three years of this video and go ahead and hit the subscribe button to be the first one, and, uh, and if you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the little bell notifications. Be the first one to know every 
single time I upload a brand new video on the Review Gamer YouTube channel. Cause I am the phenomenal. See you guys next time. Alright, bye.